Now, let me share with you a principle so profound, yet so simple, that it will completely revolutionize your understanding of manifestation. The words you speak to yourself, those intimate conversations that fill your consciousness day and night, are not mere thoughts floating in the void, they are the very substance of creation itself. You see, while the world teaches you to speak affirmations as though they were magical incantations, you are being awakened to the truth that it is not the words themselves that hold power, but the consciousness from which they spring. Every word you speak to yourself is either accepting or rejecting your desires and consciousness. Consider this eternal principle. When you speak to yourself, you are not merely engaging in idle mental chatter, you are declaring the state of consciousness you occupy. And since consciousness is the only reality, these declarations become the blueprint of your manifested world. I tell you with absolute certainty, the conversation you hold with yourself is the most important conversation you will ever have. For in these intimate dialogues, you are either accepting your good as a present fact or pushing it away as a future possibility. Now let us understand something that few will grasp but that your soul will recognize as truth. When you speak to yourself, you are not speaking to a separate entity. You are speaking as the very consciousness that creates and sustains the universe. This is why your self-talk holds such creative power. Most will continue to believe that they must speak to some external power, never realizing that the power they seek is the very consciousness that enables them to speak. But you, you who have been drawn to these words by divine law, are ready to understand that all speaking is speaking to consciousness itself. You see, while others exhaust themselves with endless positive affirmations spoken from a consciousness of lack, you are being awakened to the truth that it is not the words that create, but the consciousness from which they emanate. The very fact that these words find resonance within you is evidence that you have evolved beyond the surface understanding of self-talk. You are ready to assume your rightful place as a conscious creator, knowing that your words to yourself are the very substance of creation. Now, let me reveal to you why the manner in which you speak to yourself holds such transformative power. The words you whisper in the silence of your own mind are not merely thoughts. They are the very vibrations that shape the substance of your reality. You see, while countless individuals fill their minds with desperate affirmations, speaking from a place of want and need, you are being awakened to the truth that effective self-talk must emerge from the consciousness of already having. This is the divine secret that accelerates all manifestation. Consider this profound truth when you speak to yourself as though your desire is still to come. You are actually speaking from and therefore creating a state of consciousness where your desire remains perpetually in the future. This is why so many find their manifestation seemingly delayed. I tell you with absolute authority, the way you speak to yourself must be from the consciousness of fulfillment, not from the consciousness of wanting. When you say I will be, you speak from lack. When you say I am, you speak from completion. Now let us understand something that the rational mind might resist, but that the awakened mind embraces fully. Your self-talk is not preparation for having your desire, it is the actual substance of having it. Every word you speak to yourself either affirms your possession or confirms your lack. Most will continue to speak to themselves from a consciousness of separation, saying things like I want, I need. I hope never realizing that these very words create and sustain the experience of wanting, needing, and hoping. But you, you who have been prepared for this message, are ready to understand that your self-talk must be from the end, from the consciousness of fulfillment. You see, while others fill their minds with future-oriented speech, always pushing their good ahead of them in time, you are being awakened to the truth that effective self-talk must be anchored in the present, in the consciousness of already being what you desire to be. The very fact that you grasp these words is evidence that you have evolved beyond the superficial understanding of affirmations. You are ready to speak to yourself with the authority of one who knows that consciousness is the only reality. You see, while the world teaches you to repeat affirmations with mechanical precision, you are being awakened to the truth that it is not repetition that creates, but the state of consciousness from which your words emerge. This is why some people can affirm endlessly without results. Consider this eternal principle 
when you speak to yourself with the authority of one who knows their desire is already fulfilled. You speak from a consciousness that must, by divine law, produce that fulfillment in your world. This is why results appear to come ten times faster. I tell you with unwavering certainty, the way you speak to yourself, when no one else is listening is creating your future with mathematical precision. Every word you utter to yourself is either accepting or rejecting your desired state as a present fact. Now let us understand something that few will grasp but that your deeper self knows to be true. When you speak to yourself from a consciousness of lack, saying I want to be, I hope to have, I will become, you are actually reinforcing the very state of consciousness that keeps your desire at a distance. Most will continue to speak to themselves with doubt, with uncertainty, with a consciousness of separation from their good, never realizing that this very manner of self-talk ensures their good remains perpetually out of reach. But you, you who have been drawn to these words of divine law, are ready to understand that your self must be from the consciousness of possession, not pursuit. You see, while others fill their minds with desperate pleadings and future-oriented affirmations, you are being awakened to the truth that effective self-talk must be from the state of fulfillment. When you speak to yourself, you must speak as though you are already that which you desire to be. The very fact that these words continue to resonate within you is evidence that you have evolved beyond the surface understanding of manifestation. You are ready to speak to yourself with the authority of one who knows that consciousness is the only reality. Now let me reveal to you something so profound about the rhythm and timing of your self-talk that it will revolutionize your manifesting power. The moments when you speak to yourself in complete privacy, in that sacred silence of your own consciousness, are the most potent creative moments of your day. You see, while many reserve their self-talk for designated manifestation times or meditation sessions, you are being awakened to the truth that every moment of self-talk is a moment of creation. There is no such thing as casual or insignificant inner conversation. Consider this divine principle, the words you speak to yourself in your most routine moments while dressing, while eating, while walking, are actually more powerful than your form of battling up. For these natural, spontaneous conversations reveal and create your true state of consciousness. I tell you with absolute conviction, when you learn to speak to yourself throughout the day, as though you are already the person you desire to be, you accelerate manifestation tenfold, for you are no longer trying to manifest, you are simply being what you desire to be. Now let us understand something that the logical mind might resist, but that the awakened mind embraces fully. Every time you catch yourself in negative self-talk and consciously shift to speaking from the end, you are actually compressing time in consciousness. This is why manifestation appears to happen faster. Most will continue to separate their manifestation practice from their daily life, never realizing that every moment of self-talk is either affirming or denying their desired state. But you, you who have been prepared for this message, are ready to understand that all self-talk is creative self-talk. You see, while others reserve their powerful words for special occasions, you are being awakened to the truth that it is the constant natural flow of your self-talk that shapes your world. The casual remarks you make to yourself about your life, your circumstances, your future, these are the true creators of your experience. The very fact that you can grasp these principles is evidence that you have evolved beyond the basic understanding of manifestation. You are ready to assume your place as a conscious creator who knows that every word spoken to self is a brick in the foundation of your reality. You see, while many attempt to force manifestation through sheer volume of affirmations, you are being awakened to the truth that it is not the quantity of your self-talk that matters, but its quality, the state of consciousness from which it springs. This is the key to tenfold acceleration. Consider this eternal principle. When your inner conversation naturally flows from the consciousness of your wish fulfilled, you no longer need to wait for time to bridge a gap, because in consciousness there is no gap to bridge. This is why some manifest instantly while others wait endlessly. I tell you with absolute authority the difference between instant manifestation and delayed manifestation lies not in external conditions, but in the degree 
to which your self-talk naturally assumes the tone of your desire fulfilled. When this assumption is complete, manifestation appears instantaneous. Now let us understand something that few will grasp, but that your soul will recognize as truth. The very act of speaking to yourself as though waiting for your desire creates the experience of waiting. But when you speak to yourself from the consciousness of immediate possession, time collapses. Most will continue to speak to themselves with an undertone of when and how and maybe, never realizing that these very patterns of self-talk create the experience of uncertainty and desire. But you who have been drawn to these words by divine law are ready to understand that your self-talk must contain no limit of future. You see, while others exhaust themselves with endless repetitions of affirmations spoken from a consciousness of lack, you are being awakened to the truth that a single word spoken from the consciousness of fulfillment is more powerful than a thousand spoken from what? The very fact that you can feel the truth of these words is evidence that you have evolved beyond the superficial understanding of manifestation. You are ready to speak to you with the natural authority of one who knows that consciousness is the only reality. Now, let me reel to you something so fundamental about accelerated manifestation that it will revolutionize your understanding of self-talk. The very language you use when speaking to yourself either opens or closes the door to instant manifestation. You see, while the world continues to speak to itself in terms of process and becoming, you are being awakened to the truth that the language of instant manifestation is the language of being. This is why those who master this principle manifest their desires with such remarkable speed. Consider this divine truth when you speak to yourself using phrases like I am working towards or I am getting better at. You are actually creating and sustaining a state of consciousness where your desire remains perpetually in process. This is the very language that delays manifestation. I tell you with unwavering certainty, the language that serves manifestation is the language of present possession. When you say I am, I have, I embody you speak the language of fulfilled desire and fulfilled desire manifests with lightning speed. Now let us understand something that the rational mind might resist but that the awakened mind embraces fully. Every time you speak to yourself about your desire, as though it was still to come, you push it into a future that never arrives. But when you speak of it as present fact, you collapse time in consciousness. Most will continue to use the language of becoming a progress of gradual improvement, never realizing that this very language ensures their manifestation remains gradual and progressive. But you, you who have been prepared for this message are ready to understand that the language of instanted manifestation is the language of immediate possession. You see, while others fill their minds with words that imply future fulfillment, you are being awakened to the truth that the only language that accelerates manifestation is the language of present fulfillment. When you speak to yourself, every word must assume the tone of already being what you desire to be. The very fact that these words find such resonance within you is evidence that you have evolved beyond the basic understanding of manifestation. You are ready to speak to yourself with the natural authority of one who knows that consciousness is the only reality. You see, while many believe they must set aside specific times for their manifestation practice, you are being awakened to the truth that every moment of self-talk is a moment of creation. The key to accelerated manifestation lies in maintaining constant awareness of your inner dialogue. Consider this eternal principle. When you allow gaps in your conscious self-talk, you allow doubt and contrary thoughts to seep in. This is why those who maintain consistent, aligned self-talk throughout their day manifest with such remarkable speed and precision. I tell you with absolute authority, the power to accelerate manifestation tenfold lies not in occasional bursts of powerful affirmations, but in the constant and natural stop talk talk that assumes your desire is already fulfilled. Every moment of consciousness is a moment of creation. Now let us understand something that few will grasp, but that your deeper self knows to be true. The very pauses between your conscious self-talk are often filled with unconscious contrary thoughts. This is why maintaining aware Deliberate self throughout your day is crucial for rapid manifestation. Most will continue to treat their self-talk as intermittent practice, never realizing that the gaps between their conscious affirmations are filled with unconscious negations. 
but you, you who have been drawn to these words by divine law, are ready to understand that effective self-talk must be as constant as breathing. You see, while others reserve their manifestation practice for designated times, you are being awakened to the truth that every word you speak to yourself, whether in focused practice or casual thought, is either accepting or rejecting your desired state. There are no neutral thoughts. The very fact that you can grasp these principles is evidence that you have evolved beyond the surface understanding of manifestation. You are ready to maintain the kind of consistent conscious self-talk that collapses time and accelerates manifestation. Now let me reveal to you something so vital about the tone and texture of your self-talk that it will revolutionize your manifestation practice. The emotional quality with which you speak to yourself is the very frequency that determines the speed of manifestation. You see, while many focus solely on the words they speak to themselves, you are being awakened to the truth that it is the feeling tone behind your words that carries the real creative power. This is why some manifest instantly while others repeat the same words endlessly without results. Consider this divine principle when you speak to yourself with the natural confidence and ease of one who knows their desire is already fulfilled, you generate a frequency in consciousness that must, by eternal law, produce rapid manifestation. This is the secret of tenfold acceleration. I tell you with complete certainty, the difference between slow and rapid manifestation lies not in the words themselves, but in the feeling state from which they emerge. When you speak to yourself from a state of absolute knowing, rather than hoping or wanting a collapse time in conscious. Now let us understand something that the logical mind might resist, but that the awakened mind embraces fully. Every word you speak to yourself carries a specific vibrational quality. This vibration either aligns with your desire fulfilled or perpetuates the state of wanting and waiting. Most will continue to speak to themselves with an undertone of doubt, of questioning, of uncertainty, never realizing that this very Emotional texture ensures their manifestation remains slow and uncertain. But you, you who have been prepared for this message, are ready to understand that your thought must carry the absolute conviction of present possession. You see, while others speak to themselves with the emotional texture of need and want, you are being awakened to the truth that the feeling tone of your self-talk must be one of calm, natural acceptance. When you speak to yourself as though your desire is already yours, with the same casual certainty with which you know your own name, you accelerate manifestation tenfold. The very fact that these words resonate within you is evidence that you have evolved beyond the basic understanding of manifestation. You are ready to speak to yourself with the emotional texture of one who knows that consciousness is the only reality. You see, while many struggle to maintain consistent self-talk throughout their day, you are being awakened to the truth that it is the unbroken nature of your inner dialogue that creates accelerated manifestation. Every moment you speak to yourself either strengthens or weakens your desired state. Consider this eternal principle when your self-talk naturally and consistently flows from the consciousness of your wish fulfilled without gaps or contradictions. You create a momentum in consciousness that must manifest with increasing speed. This is the secret of tenfold acceleration. I tell you with absolute conviction, the power to manifest rapidly lies not in occasional powerful statements, but in the consistent natural flow of self-talk that assumes your desire as an accomplished fact. It is this unbroken chain of aligned consciousness that collapses time. Now, let us understand something that few will grasp, but that your soul will recognize as truth. Every time your self-talk wavers from the consciousness of fulfillment, you create a ripple of doubt that must be overcome. This is why persistence in your inner conversation is crucial for rapid manifestation. Most will continue to allow their self-talk to fluctuate between states of having and wanting, never realizing that this very inconsistency creates the experience of delayed manifestation. But you, you who have been drawn to these words by divine law, are ready to understand that your self-talk must maintain an unwavering assumption of fulfillment. You see, while others treat their self-talk as something to be practiced occasionally, you are being awakened to the truth that it is the consistent, natural flow of inner conversation aligned with your desire that creates accelerated manifestation. 
every moment of consciousness is either strengthening or weakening your assumption. The very fact that you can feel the truth of these words is evidence that you have evolved beyond the surface understanding of manifestation. You are ready to maintain the kind of persistent aligned self-talk that collapses time and accelerates manifestation. Now, as we bring these eternal principles to their culmination, let me share with you the final and perhaps most crucial truth about accelerated manifestation through self-talk. The very consciousness from which you speak these final words must be the same consciousness from which you will continue to speak to yourself. You see, while many will leave this message and return to their old patterns of self-talk, you are being awakened to the truth that this moment marks not an ending, but a beginning, the beginning of a new way of speaking to yourself that must, by eternal law, accelerate all manifestation. Consider this final principle. The very fact that you have remained attentive through these revelations proves that you are ready to maintain the kind of self-talk that creates rapid, consistent manifestation. Your consciousness has been prepared for this transformation. I tell you with absolute finality, the words you speak to yourself from this moment forward must carry the same authority, the same conviction, the same consciousness of fulfillment that you have felt while receiving these truths. For this is the self-talk that manifests desires tenfold faster. Now I understand this ultimate truth that binds all we have discussed. Your self-talk is not preparation for having your desire. It is the very substance of having it. Every word you speak to yourself from this moment forward must emerge from the consciousness of fulfilled desire. Most will leave such teachings and gradually slip back into their old patterns of self-talk. But you, you who have been prepared by divine law to receive these words, are ready to maintain this new pattern of inner conversation that assumes the tone and texture of desires fulfilled. You see, while others may treat these principles as mere information to be remembered, you are being awakened to the truth that they must become the very foundation of your inner dialogue. Every word you speak to yourself must now carry the conviction of these eternal truths. The very fact that you have remained present through these revelations is evidence that you have evolved beyond the basic understanding of manifestation. You are ready to speak to yourself with the natural authority of one who knows that consciousness is the only reality. Remember, from this moment forward, your self-talk must maintain the same quality of conscious assumption that you have felt while receiving these truths. For in doing so, you collapse time and accelerate manifestation tenfold. Go forth now, not as one who has merely learned about powerful self-talk, but as one who has become the embodiment of it. Let every word you speak to yourself carry the texture of fulfillment, the tone of possession, the natural ease of one who knows their desires are already accomplished facts in consciousness. For you have not just received information about how to speak to yourself, you have been awakened to the consciousness from which effective self-talk must flow. Let every word you speak to yourself from this moment and forward emerge from the same consciousness of fulfillment. And know this with unwavering certainty, the very consciousness that allowed you to receive these words is the consciousness from which you must now speak to yourself. For this is not the end of a teaching, but the beginning of a new way of being, a way that manifests desires with the speed of thought itself. For consciousness is the only reality, and the consciousness from which you speak to yourself is the consciousness that creates your world. Go forth now and speak to yourself with the authority of one who knows that their words are the pure thoughts, but the very substance of creation itself.